out again. Weren't supposed to be out today. It's the last weekend before Christmas. And the forecast is just perfect. So we decided we're gonna come out, bag a few Wayne Wrights, and we're going to go and camp, hopefully, on Grassmoor up there. And you never know what the situation is gonna be next year with uh, restrictions and and stuff so yeah we loaded up as well today because there's no water we don't think there's any water up there and we've got quite a big circuit to do i think we're doing out seven mile on this first day and because there's no water up there we, we're going to carry the water so in liquid i'm touching five kilos in liquid so bag weighs touching 16 kilos way too heavy but nearly five five kilos of that is liquid we're doing ranadale not well, we're doing it for my sake, Cal's already done it, but we're coming pretty much straight up. Oh, it's brutal. But oh, look at this, guys, and this is not at the top. I'm showing you now in case it burns off before we get up there. Wow. And Buttermere and Crummock. Stunning. That's going to be on for tonight. I can just see. A little horseshoe shelter, I think. I think we're just going to be camping near that. Yeah. And this inversion means it's going to be colder in the valleys than it is on the summits. Uh. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's it, Ranadale Knot. That was a slog. Straight up. definitely worth it it's got to be almost perfect walking conditions Let's look at that Stunning. There's the summit just there, so I'll bag that. Well, we're parked down in the clag, just to the other side of them trees, and that's where we went up the front, or the side, I should say, up to Ranadale Knot to bag that. And we, we followed the ridge up here, and we're going to do Whiteless Pike next. And then that one that's got a strange name, which I'll get Cal to pronounce after, I can't remember it. But we're a little bit behind schedule. But it's just gorgeous. It's probably perfect walking conditions. It's just a shame it's still the very short days and long nights. Yeah, that's some. That's some pull up there. You just see a couple of people there. Yeah. yeah, it's put us behind schedule. Kyle had already done that. Like I say, it's, uh, it's been a last minute thing, this coming coming now weekend before Christmas <sighs> but you never know it's perfect so why not why not indeed and hopefully we'll have a cracking inversion in the morning and a cracking sunset tonight if we can get up there in time and get it done see you up there another one in the bag wireless pike <sighs> 
gonna be called Breathless Pike. Oh, look at this, guys. There you go. Ennerdale Water in the distance. That's what I walk around with my lad doing the coast to coast. And it's, uh, it looks a lot bigger when you're down there. Looks tiny. All the uh, all the Irish Sea with uh, the inversion over it. Bang. Boom. Right, pronouncing this one. One dope, is it called? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty inconspicuous fell, really, to be honest. Tell you what, a bit of a slog. Quarter to one. Got quite a lot to do. It's going dark at four o'clock. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We've got El Crag, whatever it's called up there, but it's uh, it's on the map as what? Crag Hill or Hill Crag. But Wainwright's called it El Crag. So we've got to get up there, do that, back down, up and over, and all the way over there. Uh, but we want to be set up and try and get the sunset. Oh, well. I think that's Robinson who was on a while back with a camp. Hang on, which is uh, Cat Bells, the small one down there? Yeah. Cat Bells, Maiden One, High Spy. High Spy, yeah. And then over there, Dale Ed. And Dale Ed. In the scarf there. Something. Yep. Right. Quick bite to eat. Look at the cloud inversion. Hard work. It is. If it was easy, everybody'd be doing it. I can't believe it's late December and it's uh, got our t-shirts on. Absolutely brilliant. You're loving it. Loving it. Again, are we going to get views like this? It's just amazing. Yeah, I say it a lot.
camera will be making it look a lot lighter than it really is. Right, let's have a look at the tents. We've got a neighbour just over there. Paul from Sunderland. Yeah, even in uh, at the end of December you're not on your own in the films. In my usual tent with my usual gear. Um, da -da -da -da, let's have a look what goodies I've got. Let's put stand up. Right, let's have a look what I've got in my little goodie bag. Some hand warmers. I've put one of these in my battery pouch to keep the batteries warm. Spark. Some tissues for like, cleaning things up. Biscuits, probably for the morning, breakfast, cheapest chips, flapjack, I think they're about 30p for more bargains or whatever. A snack if I want it. Coffees, adventure foods, pasta carbonara, and I have got underneath that a rice pudding. Summit to eat rice pudding under that. And some bits, just some bits and bobs. Chewing gum, tea bags, spur lids for water bottles. Yeah, that's my goodies for tonight. And a little bit of wine. These are good to pop in your sleeping bag as well and warm that up if it's really cold. Yeah. Later on. Yeah, the tough thing about coming up here to uh, Grassmoor is we've had to carry all our water up because, as you can see, oh, there's absolutely nothing up here. Dries all. So we've carried kind of a litre up to drink <coughs> and then three litres to rehydrate our meals and what have you and for the morning and the way back so that should be enough it's better to have a little bit more than not enough see if we can get some uh, night time night done what a fantastic camp that was and absolutely this morning no condensation no dew on the tents or the grounds or anything leave no trace as usual apart from the dip where Carl's had his fat belly down there yeah, it's one of, 
one of the best conditions we've ever had. No wind. No wind. Or, well, a bit of wind last night, but next to nothing. Just a breeze. Yeah. It's a two or three mile an hour now. But it's December, and it's like you could walk down in a t-shirt. Amazing. This is one hell of a steep descent back down now. Straight down from uh, Grassmoor. And this is really going to get our knees now. But with the inversion, temperature inversion, it's warmer up here than it is down there. Still got the frost. The car will no doubt will need defrosting. Well, I can't get over how nice it's been for December. I just could not have not come. When it's like this, you've got to try your best to get out. Yeah, couldn't let this one pass. I had jobs to do at home, but fantastic. Carl just saying this will be the first time he takes everything home dry, even his boots. Uh, yeah, we're going to go down into the cold. We're on a Dale Knot, were we? We went up, straight up that side yesterday. And Carl had already done it previously, so he weren't too impressed about doing it again. <laughs> uh, had to be done though. And then we came up. Uh, Whiteless Pike. And up to one door. And the last one, Hill Crag, but he calls it Elkrag, doesn't he? And then obviously, yeah, Elkrag and then down and back up to Grassmoor. Yeah. I only bring Carl because he's got all the Wayne Wright books and everything. So I wouldn't bother otherwise. Alright Carl, how you doing? He only brings me because I've got the GoPro. Right. I might bring you back at the bottom, we'll see. Show you how frozen the cars are. Wouldn't like to do this without poles. Poles really help. This is the direct route up to Grassmoor. So we're coming the direct route down. And it will have taken us from 1 hour 30 to get down. Coming back into the uh, cloud inversion. Temperature's dropped. So we're definitely warmer there last night than it was down here. The car should be at the bottom here. A couple of little car parks in the free. Completely vanished though. Uh, that's more. This is the car park where I'm at. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. 